Right, onto the word problems. Now remember, uh, this is from the um, trinomial section where you have to factor. Um, so you've got to think to yourself, right, uh, if it's following that kind of pattern uh, that we've been doing with just regular questions, you know, hopefully it's going to kind of turn into something like that. Right, one number. So here's a number, and another number exceeds it by seven. So you can say, okay, here's a couple of numbers, okay? Now remember, there's not two, no X and Y's like we did in the elimination. Um, you know, we're just looking to find X. Look at all the trinomials we've been doing when we factor. So there's a number, and there's another number that exceeds it by seven. Okay? So, it says the product of the two numbers is 120. Okay? So there we go. So there's another number, uh, there's a number, and there's a number that exceeds it by seven. Okay? Right. Distributive law, x times x, x squared, x times 7, 7x, that still equals 120. Hang on, there's a cat about to eat my toast. Right, okay, so remember, uh, I mentioned about this in class, and of course this is an online class, so you haven't, I haven't mentioned it in class. Um, you must always put things equal to zero and solve for these um, trinomials, okay? Equal to zero and solve, which means I'm going to take away 120 from both sides. So I end up with this. x squared plus 7x minus 120 oops, 120 equals 0. Okay, so x squared plus 7x minus 120 equals 0. So, here we go. What are the two numbers? Okay, so Two numbers that make 120 when you multiply, or negative 120, sorry, that make positive 7 when you add. Now, it's not too easy, isn't this one? I mean, I, I know it because I've seen the answer, all right? And it's actually 8 and 15. Think about it, 8 times 15 is 120, and then the difference is 7, but that's because there's 1 plus and 1 minus. So, x, and if you get more positive, so it's x plus 15, and the other parentheses is x minus 8, all right? So, 15 times 8 is 120, and the difference is 7, and that's it. Now, here's, here's the thing about this. Watch this, because if you go back to the question, one number exceeds another by 7. So, the two answers, remember, x equals, because you're trying to find the zeros, x equals negative 15, all right? But also, x equals 8. Now then, okay. So if you've found that x is 8, what's a number that exceeds it by 7? Okay, so the other number, so one number is 8, the other number must be 15. Okay, because that is 7 more than the 8. Okay, and 8 times 15 will give you 120, so that's pretty much answered the question. But that is only one option, because the other option is this. If you do have an answer of negative 15, again, what's 7 more than negative 15? Be careful, that's negative 8, all right? And if you think about it, multiply those two together, that equals 120. So both of those sets of numbers are correct, 8 and 15, and also negative 15 and negative 8. Um, and that's it, because both those numbers will make 120 when you multiply, and one is 7 bigger than the other.